We are into the final third of the high school football season, week number seven, staying home as North Cedar comes in. And I guess first off, Matt, uh, great win for the Bears Friday night. Opened up the 50 to nothing lead and uh, really came back and overcame quite a bit of distraction with homecoming week, adversity with the injury to Brandon Rummelhart, and took care of business Friday night. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think after the, really after the loss last week, I think this team was really ready to just lay it on somebody. I mean, I mean, no offense, but uh, just get back to what normal West Branch football, Coach Hills was talking about that um, right before the, the team took the field. It's like, I'm tired of wasting my breath up here in these speeches before every game if you guys aren't going to give me your best effort. And so far this season, you have not given me your best effort. I need to see that tonight. I don't want to keep wasting my breath. And the team responded, uh, as, as you said, 50, 50 to nothing lead, 43 nothing at halftime. The defense was just lights out. This offense just kept rolling. Um, you know, despite some some new personnel in there, um, this was uh, it was a it was a fun game Friday night. Well, I mean, you talk about new personnel. Obviously, Cooper uh, Cabla, yep. you know, we had Cooper Koenig last year, but Cooper Cabla getting the start this year with basically an hour's prep work, and I mean, pretty thin playbook. But you know, he came in, performed admirably. But more importantly, the other ten guys stepped yep. up, did what they needed to do to make him comfortable and have success. Yeah, absolutely. He It was certainly a team effort. Um, wide receivers were catching the balls, running great routes. Offensive line was blocking. Uh, Luke Lenock and uh, Kale Donovan were doing a wonderful job running the ball. Um, so I think, you know, Cooper really was not put into a high pressure situation at all during the game. And what better thing could you ask for to to be, to really your first, uh, your first start at quarterback at a brand new position. Um, and I know him and Coach Tiley were up here at the practice field. Uh, <laughs> up here at the practice field uh, right after school trying to learn some plays. And um, I think, you know, as you said, he just had a couple hours of experience. So that I think that really helped things. Right, Coach Tiley? Well, I think the other thing, you know, a lot of people didn't really talk about it, but you've got Billy Freese, a guy that, yeah. you know, all of a sudden Cooper goes out, you throw him in at tight end wide receiver. Yep. He had a big catch, did a great job blocking as well. So next man in and you know Billy's been waiting on the sideline playing well defensively they call his number offensively and he does what he's supposed to yeah we uh, I think we've be grown a little accustomed to next man in so far this season but yeah. Uh, but yeah as, times, yeah <laughs> as you said Billy Freese did a, a fantastic job coming in um, getting his getting his first uh, varsity catch um, as a big a big catch too so yeah uh, next man in philosophy really really paid off Friday night in the victory well, and we stay home at the Little Rose Bowl, and uh, it's Veterans Appreciation Night. 7 o'clock start, fresh soft game got moved to Monday night, and uh, we're going to have North Cedar coming to town. And uh, it's a team that, on paper, not the greatest at, in terms of at least numbers-wise. You know, they're struggling 1-5. and five. They did beat Durant, but uh, they've had a hard time scoring some points, hard time moving the ball. But, you know, there again, North Cedar rivalries, you know, Cedar County rivalries, and they're going to come. They're going to be motivated, say, hey, we've got three games left this year. We're going to try to do what we can, and so we can't take this night off and, you know, take for granted Coach Hill's pregame speech again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this this North Cedar team comes in, as you said, you know, not looking exactly the best on paper. Um, they've really lost a lot of their, their skill players over the last couple of years from when we've played them. Um, and But as you said, it's it's still a fantastic rivalry, um, and I think both teams are going to play really, really hard, um, and it's going to be, you know, a, a, I think it's going to be a, a, a battle at first. Um, their quarterback, last name of Johnson. Carter. Yeah, Carter Johnson. Uh, that last name, North Cedar quarterbacks, doesn't uh, doesn't sound too good to me. I remember his brother, Jaden, um, from a few years ago, just um, lighting lighten everybody up on the scoreboard, uh, passing yards galore. Um, so if I mean, if Carter's anything like his brother, um, this Bears secondary is going to have to really buckle down. And as we've seen on the stats, I mean, there's there's a couple receivers there that have a, a decent amount of yards, and um, you know Johnson's spreading it out. So um, I think this this is going to be a good game for this Bears secondary to try and hone in on their skills, hone in on their coverage schemes, and uh, you know really carry this um, as we continue on in the season. Well, in the little bit of film I've seen, Johnson kind of like his brother very elusive. I mean, he's hard to bring down in the backfield. He's been under pressure. I think maybe only 29 or 30% completion percentage, you know, because he's been under pressure. But, you know, if he's able to keep plays extended, he's going to find, and they've gotten some big plays. So, I mean, you look second half of Mac Valley, you know, 
if we have a night like that, then they could do some things, stay close, and all of a sudden you've got yourself a more of a ball game than people are anticipating. Yeah, absolutely. I think the Bears just really need to kind of keep him contained, um, keep the pressure on this North Cedar offensive line, and as you said, not not give Johnson a chance to even you know find an open receiver. So it's going to be important for these tackles and these defensive ends and even linebackers when they're blitzing to put a lot of pressure on this night offensive line and get in the backfield and disrupt their flow. Well, and just keep building off of what we saw last week with that intensity. Keep growing, knowing that, you know, there's two more after tonight to uh, get to. So you got to keep building, get yourself ready because these next two contests are going to be, you know, pretty tough and hopefully lead into a playoff run as well. So uh, keep building, do things, focus on how you can make yourselves better. So looking forward to it. Again, 7 o'clock will be the kickoff, 6.30 the pregame for the BearCast. If you cannot make it, get there early because it is going to be Veterans Appreciation Night. They've got a lot of great stuff planned, so uh, plan to get there 6, 6.15. Just get your seat, get ready to go, and uh, otherwise we'll be talking to you on the BearCast right here at westbranchfootball.com.